hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. Well, we're gonna give it a try again. So, my whole enough was enough. Uh, part two, I have tried to do it over and over again. It's not working. I'm not gonna get into that too much because I don't want to waste too many minutes. Tin Man here, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do three, four, maybe five minute videos. I'm going to launch them your way. Okay, I'm going to make them as small as possible. You're going to splice them together, turn them into a 10 minute video if you have to. Do what you got to do, but we're going to sneak this out there if we can. All right. So, <clears throat> when I was getting into the varying forms of religion extremism in the past, it was cut off quite literally, bang, right then and there, uh, when I started explaining that and the Christian abilities of the world, you would not be able to tell the difference between a Mormon, a Christian, uh, sorry, a Mormon, a Catholic, or uh, a Baptist, or a Protestant, or anything of that nature, although they are all fundamental Christian sects. Um, we can't do the same with uh, the Muslim faith in Islam. There's varying forms of Islam available. We can't tell them apart simply by looking at them. The same thing applies uh, within Judaism. And then we see a great, great amount of uh, God-fearing uh, Jewish people trying to educate uh, the Gentiles, which is us, non-Jewish people, uh, of the harms and dangers of Zionism. And those were the natures of my questions. Uh, I had the beard, I was screaming, I was mad, I was upset, but here you see me shaved up. Not so very much shaved up, because I've been trying to make this thing go for a while now. It's not working. But I'm trying to bring a cool, calm, collected head to the exact same ideology that was there. Why is it that we can't ask these questions? Because okay, there's a lot of things happening now in the world. Right now, this religious connotation of things is merely one spectrum. Like, if we were to take one second and look into Crimea, and Vladimir Putin, and what Canada's doing, what the United States is doing, all these things are very, very intriguing. Okay, And all of this to remember on the esoteric realm, not the religious realm at this point, but the esoteric realm, is that they found one of the oldest pyramids available in that part of the world. Older than some of the ones that we have standing now. The oldest pyramid is what some scientists are choosing to say. Very important and intriguing things are happening. Economic sanctions are happening. Remember, the New World Order wants to have a unification. If Russia is going around and busting the EU, that's not a bad thing. It kind of sucks for some people, but it's really not that bad because if the European Union fails, well, no one's going to want to do a North American Union. No one's going to want to do an Asian Union. No one's going to want to do an African Union. All of these things will be less likely to happen. So don't jump on Putin too quick. Examine his reasoning and his rationale. If it just so happens that there is a world leader that does not like the conspiracy theory known as the New World Order, and that world leader is fighting against it, we have to pay attention. We don't have a choice in the matter when it comes to that one. All right, guys? All right, I'm going to try and put this one out. I'm really going to hope it's going to go through, and if it goes through, all the power to us. If it doesn't... Alright, <clears throat> so, why does it seem like that I'm protecting Vladimir Putin and the actions of the Russian government and things of that nature? I'm not really trying to protect what's happening here. What I'm trying to do is look into it, because there's a very important thing to remember about Russia, okay guys? Russia is really the only country out there that has disclosed that there is an ET cover-up. That's important. There's a lot of people in the world that want to know about UFOs and extraterrestrials, and without going tinfoil hat and really scaring people with what it is that I've chosen to study in these last year and a half, <clears throat> it's very intriguing to understand that there is a very large country that believes that these things aren't just fake, that it's not just a story. That was important to remember. These guys, like I said earlier, are sitting on the largest pyramid in the world, the oldest pyramid in the world. Maybe not the largest, that might have been a lie, sorry. But some scientists are saying that it could be the oldest pyramid in the world. So, that is important for them to look into. You start marrying these two theories together, they kind of make a little bit more sense. 
the human creature has been known to be wrong in its theoretical sequences. It's not the first time that we would have a theory, even though as perfected as it looks and as much sense as it makes, that we would be wrong. Look at God, for instance. We've made a few mistakes in the assumptions as to who and what he was, or she was, or it was. That's why when I tell people I talk about God, I talk about the great powers and energies that men and women once called God. Not this thing that we're reading about anymore because it's a little bit too diluted and a little bit too perverted. I can't understand what the man once said. So, important things. Same things attribute to extraterrestrials. I like to believe I was somewhat of a blessed person because I had an opportunity to really look in to varying things and varying religions without being absolutely biased. Um, atheists have this gift as well. I call it a curse for them <laughs> because they have no interest in, in understanding any of them. Um, but they also don't hate individuals because uh, they're of a religious nature. What I've been trying to do with some of my atheist friends is to really flip that mentality and switch it over to I don't have to want to join anything, but it might be important to understand a little bit about all of it so that when I'm talking to people, whether I believe or I don't believe, at least I understand what the fuck people are telling me. And that mentality has grown quite well. It's not about making people join anything. It's only about understanding what actually exists in the world. People believe these things, guys. It's important to understand what people believe. That alone is worth the effort. After that, when you take all of these religious writings and flip them over as an extraterrestrial intervention and remove the word God and believe that there could have been an ET intervention with the planet a few times in the world, well, things start to make a little bit more sense in those books. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. So now I've said this before in the past. Now that we understand <clears throat> that there's a country that's not afraid to even entertain the thought that ETs might exist, this is also a country that does not like what's happening that's the rest of the world via this New World Order agenda. You can really superimpose Russia's actions against the New World Order. You're a, you can do that. The, the information's available to do that. Um, with the whole aliens being God theory, am I the only one that came up with that? Has there ever, ever been a religious faith in this, on this planet who has said yes, that that could be it? Yeah. It's about 200 years old. It was founded in the United States of America. And the leader of it was called Joseph Smith. What you see in a chapel is not what happens in a temple. But the teachings are still the same. They have no problems making sure that it stays the same but they will symbolically teach you of a planet named Kolob. Is there a planet that scientists have been looking for? Does that exist? Forget science. Science isn't really becoming dependable these days. <clears throat> Is there a planet that the astrophysicists and the astronomer in the conspiracy world realm have been looking for? Just because you call it Nibiru and he called it Kolob doesn't mean they're different, guys. There's a religion that believed it did exist. The very same religion said that what men call God and men call aliens might be the same thing. That faith, although giving the mem their members give their faith to God and Jesus, they are also not afraid to entertain the ideology that perhaps... Just perhaps aliens existed and they're the ones that we've called God for all these millennia. Is there any proof in the alien conspiracy world that this could be a fact? Yes, apparently there is. It's a book released by guess who? The Russians maintain something like 56 species or 52 species. Buddha, you, you can comment on this. You can make sure that I'm right. 
that there's X amount of species that do exist, and amongst them that we have made contact with four, and amongst those four, guess what? There's a few of them that look exactly like us. So when Mary said she laid with no man, could she have been telling the truth? When Jesus said that his kingdom was not of this world, could he have been telling the truth? Interesting theories. The world is unifying around some of them, guys. Alright? I'm going to keep going.